Yeah, I know. That's what I've always said. This plugin should be illegal. You know, <laughs> if you mix or master a record with it, you should put like advisory. I cheated. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to do this video and like, you know, let the cat out of the bag. Um, you might want to watch this one because it's probably going to be a little game changer for you, your mixes and your masters as well. Some of you might know this plugin already. I think most people don't or better, maybe people know of it, but they never use it because, well, not many people know how to use it. And that's also why you won't find another in-depth video like this one on Matthew Lane Dr. MS Spatial Processor. Hands down the best stereo manipulator tool out there. I've been using Dr. MS in my mixes and masters for years and I barely ever talked about it. But me and Matthew talked about these new plugins called Tico. It's super cool. I'll show you really quick. We have mutual respect. He's a super nice guy, a mad genius. So here we are. Ladies and gents, I present to you Matthew Lane Dr. MS Spatial Processor. Jokes aside, this is important. Here we go. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mix Best TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on Pro Mix Academy, free plugins, special offers and discounts. And of course, if you want to support the channel, but most important, access to the already big and ever growing library of in-depth mix and mastering videos and courses here on YouTube without having to go on another site. Click the join button down here, see all the perks of becoming a Mix Fest TV member, which also gives you mixed consultations with me via Skype or email. A lot of people join the channel. We have a ton of members, so I'm happy that you guys like this format and like the exclusive content. Let's get to the video. Like I said, Dr. MS is no joke, the absolute king of stereo manipulation, stereo tricks in mix and mastering, and that infamous 3D effect that we always want in our mixes and masters. Before this plugin, there were only very complex and convoluted ways to do similar things that you can do with this plugin, not even the same. But before showing you how this plugin does the things that it does and what each knob do and how to use it, I wanna, I wanna start with a couple of practical examples so you can hear what this thing is capable of. So keep an eye on the GUI, the bypass pattern, and pay attention to the stereo field and the depth, all right? Them are some big pretenders I mean, take with myself from them Take with myself from them Arteria agenda I mean, take with myself from them Take with myself from them Bad vibes and I may mean, take with myself from them Take with myself from them Man, I go on like we no member But them devious ways that me they fit on them Well, me no care if a friend or so-called brothers Me find out, say them know how we climb up the ladder this should already give you a good idea let's go quickly to another song before going into all the knobs and all the details let's start with the default again All right, this was the second quick test. Let's go really quick to another one. And it's not only for mastering or finished mix, it's also amazing for vocals, single tracks, mono tracks. We will see that in a second. So you heard the incredible uh, soundscape that this plugin can create with a couple of simple moves on a finished mix. Of course, I was exaggerating the settings because 
I want you know the effect to be obvious so you can hear it. This is lesson number one. This plugin is great, but if you don't know how to use it, it will destroy your mix in one second. So experiment with it and get familiar with the effects and most important, how those effects translate outside of your studio because you run the risk of getting really excited when you use it for the first time, exaggerate the settings and then you go out of your studio if you're not used to use it and you don't have enough experience or maybe the monitoring system that is super reliable and high end and then you find bad surprises when you go outside of your studio. So take on point number one, a little, very little goes a long way with this one, okay? Let's take a look at the GUI and the various functions it has. I'm gonna go fairly fast with the top row because that is intuitive. Almost everybody looking at the top row, so the mid and the side section, know what it does. The mid, of course, manipulate the mid information, the mono channel, what is common between left and right, okay? And the side module manipulate the stereo information. Now, this is pretty straightforward. For each module, you have a solo, you have an invert phase, and also you have filters. These are common for all four modules, mid, side, focus, and field. For each model, you can select and activate an HPF corner frequency, a resonance for that filter, the slope if it's 6 or 12, and engage each filter individually. You also have an LPF with the same function. We also find a delay knob on each of the four modules, and here is where the fun starts, but also is where you're gonna mess things up if you don't know what you do. We also have an input and output gain. This is pretty straightforward. And we also have a format left right or ms for the input and left right or ms for the output so if you want to feed a mid side signal instead of a stereo signal you can do it you can also use this as a decoder uh, left right mid side okay really useful function in the option at the bottom left we have an auto gain function so you can activate this or deactivate it and this will basically auto compensate for the level changes when you move any knob we also have a lock sign this will actually lock the actual volume that is at the moment you engage the lock. Now let's start with the easy part, the mid and side modules, and let's take a look at the filters and why they are there. But they will be more clear when we talk about the focus and the field. On the side, we have the width knob, okay? Everybody knows this, this will increase your sides, okay? We'll open up a mix, we'll increase the level of your sides. Let's hear it in action. I'm again exaggerating so you can hear it well, but everybody knows this kind of function. We find it in other plugins. And you have a display here, the stereoscope. So the vertical line is mono, and usually a stereo signal is taller than fatter, okay? But as you boost the sides, the fatter it gets. So that gives you a visual representation. Okay, to the point that when you exaggerate, it's fatter, it's larger than taller, and it's probably not gonna translate well. Now, the filters, why we have filters? Because if you think about it, when we boost the sides, let's assume the most common uh, task, we boost the side, we don't necessarily want the entire bandwidth to be boosted, especially the low end, but not only. Sometimes you don't wanna boost the very top end either. So we can solo the side and hear what's in the side and what are we boosting when we uh, engage the width knob. Okay, in this case, this is one of my mixes. I don't have sub energy or low end in the in the side, but on some other songs they might have it, or maybe you're treating a sample that has a side sub energy and you don't want, especially like 30 or 40 or something like that, okay? So you can use the filters, uh, band pass your side signal before boosting it. Same for the high end. Maybe you have too much high end and you don't want that to add to the already present high end, maybe in the mid channel. Like in this case, you hear how much it changes with a, a low pass filter engaged, the top end of the song. Maybe I want to widen the signal, but I don't want excess high end. And then we have the infamous delay. Now, this is not a delay, it's not an echo effect. 
This is a latency. It, it basically injects a fixed latency in the module where you engage this one. So if you engage it on the side, it will delay the sides field and focus we'll see we'll see that later in this case on the side is either used to correct and fix errors that could be in a mix or to kind of try to find a different kind of effect okay i personally don't almost ever use the delay in the sides um, because you can you can hear even a little bit uh, it just start causing the phlegm effect generally speaking aside very rare occasions you don't want to use the delay on the sides this function is more for the focus and field so let's finally get to the focus and field the magic of this plugin what the focus module does the focus uses original mid information what is in your mid mono channel to create new side information so it basically inject your mono information into the side and create new stereo information and that is the first mind-blowing effect that you hear when you apply this module But if you leave it there and you just turn that knob up, it kind of sound weird and it sounds like phasey almost, okay? Which is normal. And that's why we have all the other controls. In particular, this is where the delay. So delaying this new side information allows to manipulate the phase and the stereo positioning on this new material so that now it sounds organic. And like I said at the beginning, a little goes a long way. I'm gonna exaggerate the settings. Listen with them without a delay. And of course, there are no set numbers. There are no settings I can give you. Every time, every song is different. So you listen and you listen to how the stereo field moves and at some point it will sound balanced and it will have this added depth to it. And of course, always check in mono as well to see if everything is okay. But once again, I'm gonna exaggerate the zoom, listen to with and without the delay and how it changes the stereo field. An additional tool that you have to make this effect sound organic and to avoid to have monocompatibility problems is the inverse phase. And this one again will change the stereo field because it will change this newly created side information delayed and it will invert the phase. And as you can see and hear, I can give you the secret because really is a matter of how well trained your ears are to hear these things and how much experience you have to know how they will translate outside of your studio and how they will translate on a mono system or on a system where you don't sit and you have you know, left and right speakers. So this is the tool using it and be good at it is a whole different thing we are manipulating stereo field and relation between side and mono on a finished mix not necessarily but on any other material is going to be the same so we are manipulating phase also be careful 
but you heard the effect that this plugin can do, no other plugin can. Let's go to another song, another example. We stay on the focus module and we start using the filter so we can solo each module so we can hear what we are adjusting. Just because the youth start to rub and kill and say, I'm going to stop until we lost them selling it by the gun, dead by the gun. And so by it, the moon and brain get pop and spill. No, we're gone. Can't see him again. Sad song, I sing for him again. No advice, mama can't give him. Then make me tell you about my virgin, just sentinel. Used to chant and sing till the man get sent to hell. But some never wish just sent you well. Cause them know him was a sent to rebel. Yo, me and him was in the same class in a high school. No fuel to the music, he and high school. Even in the early days, him stand up as a... I focused my focus module to only take information from the mid in that kind of low mid range from around 100 to 500 and then inject that into the sides and create this new side stereo information this kind of beefs off the track but also it makes it wider but not in the usual i'm opening up the side kind of thing because this is first of all it was information that was never on the side it was only on the mono. We took that and injected it into the side and manipulate the filters. So now it has this whole different feeling in that, you know, low mid range. Can't see him again. Sad song I sing for him again. No advice. Mama can't give him again. I know me never see my friend. Because in gone. Can't see him again. Another Rita live for him again. But Listen to the piano. So while it is very cool to open the sides, uh, is also one of those effects, and I explained this in one of my recent video on mastering, is also one of those effects that tricks our brain into thinking, oh my God, that is better immediately. Even if you just turn the width knob without you know, any in-depth processing like this, because it's just one of those things that trick our brain. Same for brightness. You know, The moment you boost 2 dB on a shelf, on a high shelf, everything sounds better for the first minute. And then you go out of the studio and it sounds harsh. Or you go out of the studio, the mix is too wide and now you lose mono because that's the other thing. We don't always want to widen or boost the sides. That's why the focus is such an interesting function because you create new information that is only on the mid. So what the field module does, it does exactly the opposite. It takes information existing on your sides and inject it into the mono channel. It creates new information in the mono channel using what's on the side. And this is not as exciting as the focus and the width, but it can help you tremendously with mono compatibility, if you have, like I said before, a sample, a piano, a beat, anything that just has a weak mono or it was badly mixed, if it's a mix or something like that. So the field module does exactly this. Let's hear it in action. You hear the guitars are now in the center, uh, also in the center. We didn't take them out from the side. It's not uh, as exciting as the other one, but it's a utility thing that you have to master. For anything, for sound design, mixing and mastering, this is not just mastering, although I use Dr. Remastered Mastering very often and in mixing all the time. This is a fantastic plugin for sound design because you can create crazy soundscapes, okay? Now let's mess with this one and the delay. Now you probably start feeling this infamous depth 
And there was, like I said, uh, a famous mastering studio that was famous for a, one of the many tricks that you can do with this one. And back then, uh, there was the legend that only them, they could do that. It wasn't true other people could do it, but still, it had to do with this intangible feeling, you know, that this plugin can actually create. So now I'm gonna mess with the focus and the fill together. Listen on this song how the invert phase changes the game completely, okay? Without it, the, uh, the stereo field is tilted to one side, doesn't sound right. And again, I'm exaggerating. Okay, so every song will give you a different result. You will have to use different settings, of course. What happens when you put it on a mono track, like a mono bass or a vocal? Let's try that. Isn't that cool? Now, all of a sudden, you are in the room with the amp. It's not just the DI in front of your face. Whether or not that is the sound that you want, regardless, this is just what you can do. If I put it on a single mono vocal track, I can start messing with the last knob that I didn't mention so far, and it's the feedback. This feedback, of course, is the feedback for the delay, but we're talking about milliseconds. It's not like repeats, like, a, like an echo. But keep in mind that the feedback only makes sense if you have both the focus and the field modules active and working, otherwise it won't work. And you will hear it will start add this very subtle and natural ambient effect to the vocal. So first of all, with and without, let's start without. I feel that isolation. I try to shine, cause you say you need a star, but you keep snuffing out the light of my spark. Won't you put me in your heart? We hide what we truly are. I'll meet you in the dark. I'll meet you in the dark. Mono acoustic guitars. Pretty impressive, isn't it? And of course, just in case you happen to have a completely mono mix, like a couple that I have here with me. So it's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, you can do things, like I said, that you cannot do with any other plugin. You can use this one on synths to create, again, crazy soundscapes. And actually it has a very good uh, set of presets. Some of them are famous uh, uses of this plugin or some of the techniques that were used back then to achieve some of these effects with like synth and various crazy routing. So. There are some famous sounds in it and uh, the presets, definitely take a look at the presets 
uh, because they are really good. They are a good starting point. But again, always, always double check until you spent at least six months of practicing with it, especially if you're using it in mastering or on an entire mix, which I usually don't use it on the entire mix. Let me make this clear. This is not a two bus plugin. Okay. This is a corrective tool to fix problems if you are a master engineer and you receive mixes like it happens to me and they are like messed up uh, is a fixing tool and is a great enhancing tool for mastering as well but it's not a plugin that I put on my two bus okay but I use it on single tracks and groups all the time when I'm mixing. Matthew Lane also have an extremely simplified version of it it's called Stereo Delta it's basically one knob and under the hood has all the controls that you saw in uh, on dot RMS, preset and combine, it will give you, you know, some of the effects. Like for example, let's try on this piano. And also I wanted to show you the new plugin that I was talking about at the beginning. Uh, of the video which is really cool i just want to give him a shout out because he made a really useful simple plugin that you all can use and i'm a fan of few knobs and getting the job done but this is actually really versatile with literally just two knobs it's called tico it stands for tightness and contour and you basically have a bunch of preset known to work uh, settings on specific compressors on the left and you have a bunch of settings known to work on specific hardware so it, they modeled uh, several compressors and EQ and they just take a screenshot of the settings and it's versatile enough to be thrown left and right really but you can download demos for all the Matthew Link plugins and you know if you're interested in Dr. MS uh, take a look at this other one as well links are going to be in the info box down below by the way I hope this video was useful I hope you liked it and I hope you really guys value this kind of information and understand how lucky we are nowadays not only to have this kind of tools but also to access you know information like this like I said there are not many if any uh, in-depth how to use uh, processors like this just as it was for the DS1 MK3 and you guys love that uh, course here on the channel so I really hope you appreciate it I appreciate if you subscribe share the videos and help Mixbus TV to reach 100,000 subscribers we are close and we're gonna give something away click the join button down here see all you get when you become a member uh, mix consultation and the library of in-depth mixing and mastering videos and courses here on the channel real clients mix breakdown mastering and all that thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't already shout out to Matthew Lane stay safe and see you next time hands on my neck hands get my throat, throat.